Welcome everyone to another edition of this week's breaking news, bits and pieces, bugs and uh, so on. Starting with security, as so often here, ransomware, scumbags, leaked Boeing, Lockheed Martin, SpaceX documents after contractor refuses to pay also here, yeah, all using the same contractor, right? But a recurring theme here, security is of course uh, highly needed in 2020. It's not like a tiny little feature to have. Of course, whole industries like everyone's life based upon that and recurring theme here. Ransomware, not only the police station, hospital, courthouse next door, government parliaments, but also um, one of the largest aerospace companies in the world have been stolen from industrial contractors leaked online Data was dumped on the internet by criminals behind the double paymer windows, ransomware also, yeah, monoculture, right, running all your outdated and buggy at day zero windows. Sensitive documents include details of Lockheed Martin designed military equipment such as specifications for an antenna in an anti-mortar defense system. Uh, other documents in the cache include billing, payment forms, supply information, data, analysis reports, legal paperwork, just the regular nice stuff you uh, could have at home to play along at home. Um, so yeah, security, 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 um, not only since 2020, certainly already since, um, since the 90s, but few people do it and recurring really shout out here that we certainly need to ramp up our efforts in secure systems. Speaking about that, with this latest analog virus stuff going around the world, um, which shall not be named for YouTube reasons, obviously, um, security experts here work on open source decentralized proxy MIDI tracing here, DPRT, decentralized privacy reversing proxy MIDI, tra uh, proxy MIDI tracing. And um, so what this is, is a system designed security, hopefully first by those experts, also open source, how in my opinion standards and especially this sensitive stuff should be done um, in terms to help tracing cases and uh, helping fighting the spread. Of course, big Silicon Valley companies, when they saw this open source, um, just a little bit of historic lesson learned what do big companies do when some potentially highly successful and highly needed decentralized privacy proxy metry tracing appears? Of course, um, Apple and Google, uh, the unlikely um, couple here, join forces partner in COVID-19. Oops, no, I said it anyway. <clears throat> Contact tracing technology. But they also see a recurring theme, Silicon Valley, big business companies or Microsoft or any other, um, Amazon, um, who else is there? Uh, you guessed it, Oracle and stuff for that reason. If they see open source and their product influence um, going away, they even the, the devil and stuff team here together. Um, to do this here in iOS and Android, in my opinion, highly dangerous. I would rather use this open source and I would encourage everyone because implemented this, you can, in my opinion, not trust Apple and Google, especially they um, need to respond to government requests anyway. So in my opinion, this is not best kept into the operating system level, but should be add-on that you can review because as you know, if it's in Apple's iOS, then you only need to reverse engineer it as per all the previous videos of iBoot and fun stuff. So in my opinion, such kind of stuff 
um, privacy related contact tracing a uh, super dangerous technology what you certainly in previous years have only seen in China, North Korea and similar countries like that and so such kind of technology in emergency situations not even sure if it's the best thing to do because of all the really pervasive influence in the society if this is used on a large scale it should certainly be externally reviewable and open source in, in that nature and operating systems for sure should provide the basis in terms of bluetooth and stuff and wi-fi apis and certainly show this i've mentioned this before that for privacy i would actually prefer that smartphones have some kind of card here that you can always uh, scroll down or wherever you implement this ui wise i mentioned this already a couple of times in, in the meantime and this kind of stuff should be completely traceable like user visible um, what kind of stuff is traced and so on so that you can have an overview what's going on and not um, some secret state stuff there in terms of um, totalitarian government stuff uh, tracing you all over the place experts anyway warn that maybe this bluetooth tracing apps are not the best thing like maybe they are actually pretty bad so much to trusting to technology um, might in general not the best idea but um, maybe as so often many other measures would be highly more successful including wearing masks maybe washing hands and stuff um, personally I have the feeling maybe masks are more effective than washing hands all over the place but certainly follow your local government recommendations but all of this analog measures certainly multiple times more efficient than contact tracing stuff because what are the limits um, there are multiple articles not sure if this particular article is the very best but not only certainly false positives um, bluetooth stuff of course many experts warn that this contract ta contract tracing is overhyped might deliver next to nothing as so often especially in apple and google's <coughs> microsoft's fame but you need to understand that this get some bluetooth receptions including if you just open your bluetooth in some new york or so apartment building what kind of neighbors bluetooth tvs you get there and then imagine on a street in the subway of course this contact tracing stuff has no way to uh, measure whether the next person is eight meters or whatever that is in feet away or standing next to you it gets all the signal and even if it's signal strength or whatever um, the smartphone of the other person can be in a bag between books and and so on uh, or just a jeans pocket and so on so signal level triangulation is not as straightforward and so even if you would say a uh, signal um, signal to noise ratio and, and signal level and so on um, not even that in my opinion and according to many articles on the internet many experts opinion not good enough for useful contract tracing so as per often maybe this stuff mostly leads garbage data and as you many of you probably already heard garbage in garbage out maybe well certainly those tech people have maybe not much else to do except maybe they should work on uh, machines and medical labs but otherwise maybe some effort spent is any effort spent is some effort well spent although i'm personally a little bit skeptical and with all those experts that want like yeah don't expect too much from this maybe a huge mountain of data that doesn't give us much but leave in the comments below what you think as per so often um i'm of course only one one humble opinion here among others here in the collective so leave it down there what you think of this is this useful is it not uh, what should we do um certainly I'm not saying we should sit for 24 months for like two years at home um, but certainly uh, going out uh, in a reasonable amount of social distancing with masks and washing hands and other sanitary precautions um, certainly a lot of stuff more useful than bluetooth signal tracing but leave in the comments below what you think certainly i would more use as so often open source peer-reviewed stuff than whatever apple and google 
uh, implement there. Of course, at the end, they could just use this open source, this DPRT there. So really curious how this ends up. But just not only in terms of this analog virus situation, I also wanted to shout out how it works with this big mega corporations. There is some open source stuff. They see it and they implement it, copycat it instantly um, just to avoid any kind of market share and influence loss there. In similar news, market share loss and influence stuff, Catalina 10.15.4, we had this in previous weeks, constant new uh, issues there on Apple's updates. Personally, I have many issues already, not only with new updates, recurring theme, um, so many peak bugs there, but you can't even make this peak bugs up. Uh, last week's update issues, this week's, um, yeah, last week's update issue was the N NVMe or AHCI driver of, I think it was actually AHCI stability, which, yeah, of course, new update, new bugs, but apparently this supplemental update, but yeah, Apple in 2020, you already need supplemental updates for uh, updates because hashtag, hashtag peak bugs. So apparently this supplemental update also has issues, doesn't install reliably for many people, for many people, it took apparently so long um, that they eventually power cycled it, like totally borking this update. Also 2020, in my opinion, um, uh, powering down your machine in the middle of an update of a major commercial high profile operating system certainly should somehow be um, checkpointed and stuff. So in, there is not really an excuse unless it's an unsuccessful one-man distribution like ours, but if it's some like world leading stuff, it should be journaled file system, checkpointing, snapshots, uh, rollback, you name it. But yeah, apparently nothing that Apple is also only cooking with some water there, but yeah, there's that. In similar news, if you were wondering this latest iPad with this amazing new um, Apple integrated circuit, some tech insight analysis confirms previous speculation already that this A12 set GPU is exactly the same as previous, just that previously they had been this and some GPUs were defective. So this fancy new A12 set GPU is just the same with all cores working. Um, so in terms of maybe that might disappoint some people, but certainly one more GPU is certainly nice to have. But this is also, um, Apple can, of course, here also in this topic, hardware topic, only cook with water like other. The enormous increase of CPU and GPU power may be coming to an end um, and Apple will most likely struggle as others. They probably just had a low hanging fruit of sourcing this power efficient team from PA Zemi and just innovating and optimizing the heck out of ARM, which previously might not have been the most high performance cause. Well, certainly they were energy efficiency uh, power optimized anyway. So um, maybe this update certainly also slowing down as we have seen also with Intel and AMD. Um, of course, right now AMD on the forefront, but the last uh, maybe even 10 years at AMD, not amazing. The last years at Intel, not amazing. Maybe the next years of Apple also slowing down a little bit of what to expect there. Again, only cooking with the same water or electrons and protons and stuff there on the silicon level. In similar news, if you thought using Mozilla Firefox as we do here is a super amazing idea. Um, yeah, recurring theme that Mozilla also has really strange ideas. I said this before, many of the pro whatever subscription ideas Mozilla had there didn't amaze me the most. I'm only interested in a stable browser, not in VPN or other pocket and whatnot subscription cloud services there. And apparently um, really strange ideas there at Mozilla as in now installing a new scheduled telemetry task on Windows with Firefox 75. So if you needed another telemetry task on Windows running there on Mozilla's behalf, then yeah, servant Firefox users Windows who have updated the web browser may have noticed that the upgrade brought also a new scheduled task uh, named Firefox default browser agent is set to run once per day. And yeah, I really wonder why companies need to do this. If you um, have an amazing web browser, why do you always need to add so much strange sidecar stuff? Uh, it's, it's, I don't know. 
Anyway, leave me in the comments below what you think of all the amazing telemetry. In similar news, German, but uh, doesn't matter too much. According to this article here on this big German IT news, insecure authentication cards for charging electric cars here in Germany and Europe um, forever like frickled uh, here um, in terms of not as professionally done. So apparently they have already, some researcher has already disclosed in October 2017, um, Matthias Stahlheimer, uh, this charging authentication cards for unlocking charging stations here on the street, all over or uh, street and highway and stuff all over Europe and found that um, it was not well done, no security, also yeah, not bad security, maybe allegedly to this article, correct me if I'm wrong, no security, that, that is a new right, <laughs> it's bad and broken security, no, uh, no security, um, and rolled out Europe-wide, so yeah, well done for, um, although maybe we should actually hex this and charge for free or something, anyway, um, so they reported this, of course, and now this is uh, nearly three years, two and a half years later, uh, they checked uh, what happens is, by the way, was uh, type MyFair Classic 1K, uh, already 2008 cracked authentication protocol. Also here, um, a decade hacked professionals, no worries, we still roll it out because now nah, YOLO security is for, um, I don't know, people at Boeing or so. But um, yeah, so decade old cracked authentication protocol and practically useless. And um, they expected that they ramped this up, but no, they checked again. And apparently this is still the same. So they have now um, some new modules here or whatnot. And uh, like they checked there at uh, some other golem.de, they, um, they yeah, whatever, just some part of some card number with four from seven bytes and whatever. It's uh, so then so cracks a complete hash of four byte hashes um, on the home desktop, uh, took 12 minutes and yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, apparently not amazing. Um, if you were wondering how secure are charging stations in Europe, apparently not the most. Also, yeah, maybe in 2020, do not hash some four bytes of yeah, whatever. Anyway, speaking about bugs, Boeing found uh, of all uh, airline companies found two new issues as if the 737 MAX recurring theme here, probably we have this already three times here in this IT breaking new stuff because it's just too broken and apparently they found new broken bugs. So um, apparently, they they said they also yeah this Al Jazeera in the meantime it's a couple of more I checked this some days ago on that day it was only here but in the meantime some other news uh, repeated this in case you're wondering if this is legit um, if you have more details leave in the comments below but um, two of course as usual not tied to system faults in the two fatal crashes but um, two new software updates flight control computer is if you were wondering how many bugs can be in some flight control system, apparently, according to Boeing's recurring self-certified findings here, a um, handful of, I hope they eventually find all the bugs and not that it matters too much right now with all the closed airports and um, banned travel, but eventually I guess they want to fly again and eventually probably they should finally fix all the bugs there. But also, yeah, self-certification for the verse. Um, also, if you, if you don't know why I, so this, is already also uh, FAA, Boeing, they they allowed some external contractor to self-certify this. Uh, so this is apparently, as far as I understood from news reporting, not the FAA. FAA has uh, certified this, but they um, allowed this third party. Um, and the third party is Boeing. So basically Boeing certified its own airplane. What could possibly go wrong? Some tiny little self-certification, so, so stamp approved, right? And yeah, obviously if, if you don't check then as per our main channel, if you don't test it, then it's broken. Um, or even our own PS3 Linux stuff, yeah. Recurring theme here, test, test, more test. And if you don't test, it's broken. Um, no surprise there. 
And uh, last but not least, Talos here has a blog. Of course, we, uh, friends and family of the Chaos Computer Club in Germany and, and already decade old stuff here at the Congress, uh, fingerprint cloning, myth or reality. But uh, even Talos here of apparently Cisco, family at least according to the website, has even an article there. So if you're wondering if this is some niche stuff of German or European or whatever crazy hackers, no, even reported here on some Cisco, sorry, Cisco um, subsidiary and um, encrypted USB devices, photos, cloning, capacitive, uh, capacitive fingerprint sensor, uh, just printed, pro tip, just printed on a laser printer, wrap it all around some sausage and you have a fine copy there. Um, according to most findings anywhere or whatever, soap and whatnot, um, Vaseline, whatever good stuff you find there, but uh, don't try this at home, certainly not uh, out there. This is just a recurring reminder not to try it at home, but that the stuff is not the most safe in case you were ever wondering and even here of Taylor's fame. Don't need a Chaos Computer Club Congress for that, just read Cisco's um, Daughter companies blog. In last but not least, gaps in Amazon's uh, response as virus spreads to more than 50 warehouses. Unfortunately, I thought so in the very beginning when Amazon proudly announced the whole world is going down, but Amazon makes a lot of profit. It was clear to me with what we've seen here also in previous working condition videos here on this IT breaking news um, that this is kind of squeezing there of uh, low wage workers in this kind of rushed and barley can drink and overworked and need to fulfill certain uh, quarters I heard without being able to visit the toilet and stuff. Doesn't surprise me that uh, according to this um, sifting sick leave policy and communication issues are causing employees to search themselves after they stayed on the job and uh, virus spreads to more than 50 uh, warehouses. I would love to read this article more, but somehow the New York Times forces me to log in here. So yeah, YOLO. Um, probably I read the summary, summary somewhere. Leave me in the comments below. But yeah, certainly if uh, all those workers work there in this um, not very social distancing working conditions doesn't surprise me the least. Um, leave in the comments below what you think to all of this, especially yeah, security, contact tracing, uh, decentralized privacy, preserving proximity tracing. Uh, looking forward to your comments. I hope you learned something from this overview. Um, still brainstorm here how to best approach this. Maybe change this a little bit. The American ask new intro music. Yes, this cheesy iMovie default thing got on my nerves. Let's see if this is, by the way, previous video on my main channel, uh, Freaking MT32 Roland. Let's hope that Dolby THX stuff doesn't copyright uh, flex this. Um, if so, then yeah, someone's homebrew MIDI file from the internet played back from a real MT32. Can't make this stuff up. Let's see how uh, Google's copyright system reacts to that. But uh, probably uh, someday I need to compose my own theme maybe because, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, Jamie can ask, how do you find this article? Well, basically I uh, when I consume my weekly news stuff from all the various websites, I just save the most interesting bits and pieces. Um, usually there is too much, so I already save the 30% um, like every third of the most major stuff, but you certainly can send stuff in. So if you have news, leave them in the comments below or drop me their message with the communication methods listed. Um, but otherwise, I certainly also sometimes forget. So sometimes I actually, I probably know that I think about this. I think I forgot something from Twitter. So I think I wanted to save something from Twitter that some tweet was scrolling by. Um, but yeah, uh, busy at work. And then at the end of the day, um, maybe some tweet lost. If I remember what this was, all right, I think it probably was some of my retweets. Anyway, you can also follow me at Twitter and Instagram and all those subscribing to those channels and stuff. Um, yeah, this is only a rough summary, still working. Maybe I could maybe try a week to make one five minute stream. This was just one or two topics and see if this 
has a better feedback here with the audience. Um, anyway, I mostly do this to spread awareness how insecure stuff is because most people think stuff is super um, military grade, super top notch secure and then often are disappointed when it isn't, especially in um, Apple's uh, re reality distortion field. And um, this is why uh, with all this stuff, tr just trying to help people understand how broken stuff is and that we really need to make a better effort to make stuff more stable. I, speaking about which, um, I probably, I wanted already like half a week ago, um, make some notes about Linux um, 5, 6, I think we have 5, 6, right? Probably can check that. Um, probably we make, um, but there you see, um, there's always some idea and at the end of the day, yeah, 5, 6, uh, 3. Um, and also Firefox, Rust and Cow Comics. Anyway, <laughs> compiling the latest Firefox, um, also <clears throat> not amazing. But probably we should also give a shout out of less than stellar release, release maintenance of the Linux kernel. Recurring theme here, unfortunately. Um, there you see the content is sort of limitless. There is also some, some, something always to talk about. And at the end of the day, uh, busy and stuff and not over notifying you with videos. But theoretically, uh, the release of Linux 5.6 was had some crazy bugs that wasn't even fixed in dot one probably it deserves a dedicated video uh, for that probably share like and subscribe um, and yeah at least J American uh, likes this videos so that is good to hear there in the comments um, of course I realize that many videos are way more successful like p3 um, other mainstream videos actually fun fact I, how many videos do I have I have here a mountain of stuff that I have lying laying here since December already that I even traveled with me to some on-site location in in December. Um, so yeah, po popular videos that with with stuff that like I have prepared here already for for now in the meantime four months. So much to uh, making content that interests me and content that potentially way more people watch. Probably thinking about this, I should probably do some more main maintain mainstream videos, but. Um, yeah, probably I need to change the format a little bit to make it more attractive to more people, not to have this uh, so overlong. But uh, speaking speaking overlong, that's it for today. That's what we have for you today. Um, and I hope to see you soon for our next videos and live streams with hopefully new news intro theme to come.